today we will be reading I Pledge Allegiance. The authors are Pat Mora and Libby Martinez. The illustrations are by Patrice Barton. I Pledge Allegiance. On Monday, when I get to school, my teacher, Mrs. Adams, asks, did your great aunt pass her test? Yes, I say. She is very smart. I tell my class all about my great aunt. She is 80 years old, and my family calls her Lobo, which means wolf in Spanish. She calls us her Lobitos, her little wolves. Lobo studied very hard. She learned all about America. That's wonderful, says Mrs. Adams. Libby's great aunt passed her citizenship test. My teacher claps, my class, and I clap too. On Friday, mom and I will go with my great aunt to a special place. She will say the Pledge of Allegiance and she will become a citizen of the United States. She is going to practice all week so she won't make any mistakes. We are going to practice the Pledge of Allegiance this week, too, says Mrs. Adams. On Thursday, Libby can lead us in saying the pledge, so she will be ready for her great aunt's special ceremony on Friday. Will you do that, Libby? Yes, I say. I like being in front of the class. I hope I can remember all the words. Mrs. Adams says, long ago, in 1892, a man named Francis Bellamy wrote the Pledge of Allegiance. He hoped that girls and boys would promise to be good citizens. Now, let's all read the pledge together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My teacher points to one of the words. Indivisible, she says. It's a big word. It means that there are 50 states, but we are all one country. After school, my teacher gives my great aunt a big congratulations hug. On the way home, I tell Lobo that my class is practicing the pledge all week. On Thursday, I will have to say it in front of everyone, I say. I'm a little nervous. Let's practice together, she says, and squeezes my hand. At home, Lobo and I help mom make enchiladas. Mom says, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a special day. Ready to practice, Lobo? I ask after dinner. Lobo reads the pledge, and then she and I say it together for mom and my kitten, Gloria, my gatita. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Lobo and I practice again on Tuesday night. When we say the pledge at school, we stand very straight, like a tree, I tell her. We put our right hand over our heart. My teacher says the Pledge of Allegiance is very special. It's a promise you make with your heart. I like the words liberty and justice for all, says Lobo. We are promising to be fair to everyone. This country is like one big family, una familia, that works together to take care of people who need our help. That is what America did for me. On Wednesday night, Lobo and I say the pledge in front of my stuffed animals. They are very good students. I like being the teacher. Tomorrow, I will say the pledge in front of the whole class. Time for bed, says mom. I ask Lobo to tuck me in and tell me a story. Un cuento. I like Lobo's stories. Why do you want to be a citizen? I ask. 
Mi querida, I was born in Mexico and went to school there, but the United States has been my home for many years. I am proud to be from Mexico and to speak Spanish and English. Many people are proud of the places where they were born or where they grew up. But a long time ago, when I was a young girl, my father wanted a safer place for us to grow up. And we came to the United States. The American flag, red, white, and blue, wrapped itself around me to protect me. Lobo tucks my blanket around me. The flag made me feel like this, she says, safe and warm. Lobo smiles and kisses my forehead. You will do just fine tomorrow, she says. On Thursday, Mrs. Adams says, Libby, would you like to lead our class in saying the pledge? I walk to the front of the room. Everyone is looking at me. I think of Lobo's smile. I stand up very straight and put my hand over my heart. I take a deep breath. Together we say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. At home, I tell my mom and Lobo that I remembered all the words. Lobo and I practice one more time. Mom claps and hugs us. On Friday, Lobo wears a new blue dress. Mom, Lobo, and I hold hands when we walk into a big room. There are so many people. A woman in a black robe stands at the front of the room. She looks like a judge on TV. We all sit down. Everyone is very quiet. The judge says, today is a happy day. She asks all the new citizens to stand. Mom whispers that I can stand with Lobo. The judge says, please place your right hand over your heart. Lobo and I stand very straight like trees. We put our hand over our heart, we smile. Then we both say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And then there is a little author's note about um, this book. So, that a little author's note I'm not going to read that um, and then this was in loving memory of our dear aunt Lobo and to all new citizens of the United States and for my dear aunt Pam so it sounds like this was a true story so that was I pledge allegiance and the AR number for this book is one six six three four seven so if you would like to take an AR quiz on this book, 166347 should be the number for that.